The UN Security Council will hold an informal meeting to discuss the situation in Belarus on Friday. The meeting will this time be held in public and with the participation of the country's opposition leader Svetlana Tikhonovskaya. According to sources, the video conference session will focus on human rights in Belarus. The country, which has been shaken by almost three weeks of protests against its president, cracked down hard on the news media on Saturday. Now, some foreign journalists reporting in the country were deported and the accreditation of many Belarusian journalists was revoked. Meanwhile, the White House said that Russia must respect the sovereignty of Belarus and the right of its people to elect their own leaders. The new meeting is being organized at the request of Estonia, currently a non-permanent member of the UN Security Council. It will be informal and its format allows members of the Security Council not to take part. Several Security Council members, such as China and Russia, view the Belarus situation as an internal matter and argue that they do not pose a threat to the international order and therefore should not be addressed by the UN Security Council. Uh, we continue to follow the developments in Belarus closely and we support international efforts to look independently into electoral irregularities, human rights abuses and the government crackdown. And the massive number of Belarusians protesting peacefully makes clear that the government can no longer ignore the people's call for democracy. And Russia must also respect Belarus's sovereignty and the right of its people to elect their own leaders freely and fairly. Hundreds of thousands of protesters have rallied on the streets to demand the resignation of President Alexander Lukashenko, whom they accuse of rigging the August presidential elections. Lukashenko won the elections by a landslide of 80% over his primary challenger, Svetlana Tikhonovskaya. Now, Lukashenko has shown no sign of bowing to the protests, and he has denied the rigging allegations of any rigging of elections.